Alright guys, welcome back to Half Fast 719. Got the uh, <clears throat> parts laid out, the case laid out. So, um, this is the impeller, little copper washer, like a crush washer. This is the seal. This is another seal. So this keeps water from going to the oil. This keeps oil from going to the water. The bearing and the shaft. And, uh, I'm just going to open all these up and basically place the new ones next to the old ones so you can compare what's the part number for that. Um, the best website to go find part numbers that I think that's the easiest is uh, Chaparral Motorsports. Chaparral Motorsports, you go on there, you get the microfish, whatever you want to call it, and uh, you can get the part numbers for your bike just little blow up diagrams so as you can see this seal this seal when I took it apart or tried taking it out it had exploded into a bunch of pieces so that's how I know it was bad um, so what I did is I went on to <clears throat> Chaparral Motorsport it's the copper, copper washer Chaparral Motorsport, I found these. I entered this number into eBay. Um, eBay, then I just put in there US, US only. And uh, from US only, then I went to cheapest, lowest price with shipping. And that's how I was able to buy all these for, for reasonably pretty cheap. Um, but yeah, so. Here's the part number for that seal. It's the oil side seal. And you got to remember on these seals, any seal you get, numbers always face outside. Letters, numbers are always going to face outside. Inside where the spring is, that's where the oil is going to be. You want to think of it as you're going to fill this little cavity. Let's put a little pointy thingy. You're going to fill this cavity in here full of oil. So since it's oil, it's going to go it's going to go in the oil side. So we got that seal. So like this one here, it can only go in one way. It can only go in with this down, but it has the same same type of deal inside here. So just you want to think about water or oil, you want the liquid to be in this cup. So that's obviously going to go in that way. That, that, that. So I didn't order a new impeller. This impeller seems fine. I did order a shaft. I made an offer on the shaft. The guy accepted it. And uh, it's brand new. From the factory, you can see. I mean, is what it is I probably don't need one um, because where it's kind of wore out is on the edge so but it's, you know just peace of mind I guess so basically shaft bearing seal seal copper and then that so we'll just assemble it the way way it goes so remember this seal is gonna go that way so do is just get a socket that fits. So it's too big, too big, too big. Or I should say too small, I should say. Mm. So it's probably just right. So um Trying to think if that's how this one goes together or not. Because technically you can take the seal or the bearing and push the bearing in. So the bearing, then that seal, then this seal. Only thing that's weird is that 
this inner seal here, this seal, it can go all the way through, which is kind of... Alright guys, welcome back, Half Fast 719 again, I forgot to mention in that last video, replace your seal and uh, replace this copper crush washer, put on trash. So basically, this is all done now, so I'll probably just take it out and uh, go paint it. Um, so now let's get to the clutch basket. Set. Set that aside. I have to grab this and this. I think that's all I need. So those are already clean. Let me just grab the instructions. This and all the parts. So I do know that we gotta remove this back piece here. So I'll grab a Phillips screwdriver. and thread that. Take this off. We're gonna need that. <clears throat> Set it there. So as you can see it's a little little bit different. So these ones are cut a lot lighter. Um, let me just take all this off real quick. Oh, I can't, can't even show, can't even show. I'll just grab a couple little things. These are the little rubber things, little cushions. These ones are all broken. So, anyway. Um, yeah. Get this metal out of here. Back over there. So, basically, you're not going to need the springs. You're going to need the screws, the cushions, the socket, and all the gear stuff. So, instructions. Precision for four digit. So, Kickstarter gear. So, you got to make sure that you have this washer. And this one's got a little snap ring in there. Now you did it. Um, not sure how that's gonna work with that ring. It's not really say do not damage Kickstarter gear during assembly as it will be used for the new blah 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 blah. So, um, following procedures, so we manual. Actually, you know what? Let me read this. Let me read through this real quick. We'll have our an adult beverage. And uh, I'll be back. I might have to press this in. I might have to get rid of that little retainer spring that's in there. As you can see, I might have to heat something up and cool something else. But we'll see. I'll get back. I'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys. I think I got it figured out. So I put the the gear in a toaster oven right here. <clears throat> so basically it just says to heat it for 15 minutes, 400 degrees, place the washer in the gear, remove the basket from the... It says to remove the basket. Oh, I'm doing the wrong thing. Huh. Wrong thing, I put the gear in there. I'm supposed to put this in the oven. Duh! So let's see. more sense because you want the the basket basket to expand not this to expand okay so it says basically says if your looks like illustration number one follows illustration number one just like it is there's a sticky little socket which 
This looks like it's going to break. Um, here's the bolts. Just get everything prepped and ready. So basically, this looks like that. We got this groove on this side. Yeah, so that'll go face down on it. This will go over it, something like that. And, uh, yeah, wipe it all over me, yeah. So I'm going to let that basket get in there for about 15 minutes. And, uh, and then I'll put that gear, I'll drop that gear right on it. Um, yeah, so that plate goes on there because it can't go on here because it doesn't sit in a groove. So you want it to sit there because it sits in a groove. So, anywho, these aren't countersunk one way or the other because it doesn't really say which way it goes. But this bottom side feels sharper. So, yeah, I'm going to go with that way. So these do have, uh, whatchamacallit on them, Loctite. We got Loctite on them, so you can run them in, and they should be good. Um, I do want to read this part here. So, get to that part. So it's install new cushions, OEM gear, recessed side out. So that's the recessed side out. Retainer plate into the Wiseco clutch basket. Install new fasteners, tighten them to 80 inch pounds, 6.6 .6 foot pounds in a crisscross pattern to compress the assembly evenly. Using a hammer and punch, peen the edge of each screw where it comes through the bottom of the basket. Install new clutch basket into the engine. So we'll take a, uh, a punch. Let's see what kind of punches I got. So I'll just take this punch and basically on the bottom of the screw you're going to punch the edge of it You'll punch the edge of the screw and the uh, uh, what looks like to be the basket. So what I'll probably do is I'll just punch the basket or the screw. Try not to damage any of the basket. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, this ring, I took the ring out. I don't know where it goes or what it's for. Other than I do see a uh, groove. In the old one which is why it broke I'm assuming so this snap ring goes into that channel the new basket doesn't have a channel so I'm assuming you take this out it doesn't say anything on it um, it just says keep the washer on the gear because it'll be used during assembly so that's that's all I see so this washer gonna go on to here and then uh, yeah it'll be ready to press it in there and it is cold out here so um, yeah I'm gonna let it cook for a little bit and then we'll assemble it and then obviously the cushions they can only go on one way but I'm gonna wait till it cools down before I put these on I'm gonna wait till it cools completely and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so, once it gets out of the oven, throw you guys on, get some gloves on, and uh, go from there. Alright guys, let's, let's try it. I'm going to hold the gear with this hand. I'm going to grab the thing and see if it works. Worked out. Would you look at that, Cletus? So 
So it says to put something heavy on it until it cools down. But, oh, I don't have anything heavy enough. So, we'll use good old Murica. That's this, uh, that's this big impact's name now. Is Murica. So, I'm going to let it cool. I'm going to give it about 10, 15 minutes to cool. And, uh, then I'll come back and I'll show you guys the process of putting all that junk on. So we'll be back. Alright guys, welcome back to Half Fast 719. While I'm waiting for that to cool, because it's still pretty hot, I have a temp gun somewhere. <clears throat> still 100 and some degrees.